What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. We are subtracting two fractions or two rational expressions. If in order for me to add or subtract fractions, I need common denominators. Okay, so that is when the sister comes in and says, what do they have that I don't have? So as you look, what does this fraction not have? Well, this fraction doesn't have a five but it does have an X. So this one needs a five. If I multiply the bottom by five, I gotta multiply the top by five. Then I come over here and say, okay, what does this one have? Well, what does this one not have that the other one does have? Well, this one needs a three. So when we check to see what our denominator looks like, Right here gives me 5 times 3 times x, which gives me 15x. This is 5x times 3, which also gives me a 15x. So I'm good right there. So what this is going to have is it's going to be a 25 over a 15x minus 21 over a 15x. So here, what do I have? I have a 4 over a 15x and ladies and gentlemen that is choice d and there we go whoa and i hope that helps any questions let me know see ya bye